Okay, let's go for question number 11. Three positive numbers form an increasing GP. If the middle term is doubled, then the new numbers are in AP. We have to find the common ratio of the given GP. Four options are mentioned. So, question is quite simple one. Three numbers are in increasing GP means common ratio is greater than one. Let the numbers be A, A R, A R square. Now, the question says if the middle term is doubled means in place of A R we write 2 A R then A 2 A R A R square form A P. So, applying the formula for A P that is twice the middle term equals first plus third. 4 A R equals A plus A R square. Simplifying we get quadratic in R as r square minus 4 r plus 1 equals 0. Solving we get 4 plus minus root 16 minus 4 divided by 2 that is r equals 2 plus root 3 or r equals 2 minus root 3. Since the question is talking about increasing GP, so common ratio cannot be less than 1. Since GP is increasing. So, common ratio should be greater than 1. Hence, the required result is 2 plus root 3 as the common ratio of given GP. So, from the given options, option number 3 is correct. Therefore, option 3 is correct. So, it is again quite simple one. Let us move to question number 12. Okay, let us go for question number 12. If the coefficients of x cube and x 4 in the expansion of 1 plus a x plus b x square multiplied with 1 minus 2 x whole to the power 18 in powers of x are both 0, then find the ordered pair a comma b. Means, when we expand it, the question says the coefficient of x cube is 0, the coefficient of x 4 is also 0. We will get two equations in two unknowns a and b, we need to solve those two equations. So, let us start with the given statement. In 1 plus a x plus b x square into 1 minus 2 x raised to the power 18. It is given x cube coefficient is 0, coefficient of x 4 is 0. Coefficient of x cube is equal to, when we expand this term, we will be getting powers of x with different one. 1 is multiplied to x cube, x is multiplied to x square, x square is multiplied to x to get x cube. Therefore, we have 18 c 3 into minus 2 cube plus a into 18 c 2 into minus 2 square plus b into 18 c 1 into minus 2. This is the coefficient of x cube. We say this is equal to 0 as equation number 1. Next, coefficient of x 4 that is 18 c 4 1 is multiplied to the coefficient of x 4 that is 18 c 4 into minus 2 to the power 4 plus a into 18 c cube into minus 2 whole cube plus b x square is multiplied to the coefficient of x square. So, it gives me 18 c 2 into minus 2 whole square. This is also 0 say equation number 2. 
we simply solve these two equations to obtain a and b. So, it is little bit lengthy to solve these two equations on simplifying we get a equals 16 b equals 272 by 3. So, these are the two values when we check with the given options we find option number 3 is correct. Therefore, option 3 is correct. Fine, let us go to the next question of this paper. Okay, let us go for the next question. Let A, B, C and D be non-zero numbers if the point of intersection of the lines 4 A x plus 2 A y plus c equals 0 and 5 B x plus 2 B y plus d equals 0 lies in the fourth quadrant and is equidistant from two x's. Then we have to find the relation between A, B, C and D. Question says the two lines are intersecting in fourth quadrant. Such that the point of intersection is equidistant from two x's, say it is here, so that it is equidistant from these two, right. So, two lines passing through this point, let us say these are the two lines which are intersecting here at alpha comma minus alpha alpha comma minus alpha is lying on both lines on substituting it we get from the first line as 4 a alpha minus 2 a alpha plus c equals 0 giving me alpha equals minus c upon 2 a correct. Similarly, it is lying on the second line we obtain 5 b alpha minus 2 b alpha plus d equals 0 alpha is minus d upon 3 b. So, from first and second we get minus c upon 2 a equals minus d upon 3 b that is 3 b c equals twice a d or 3 b c minus 2 a d equals 0 as the required condition between a b c d. So, from the options we find that option 2 is correct 3 b c minus 2 a d equals 0. Therefore, option 2 is correct. To find the solution of this question, we can also apply cross multiplication on first two lines. When we solve those two equations, we will get x and y. So, we can simply say x if positive, then y is minus x and then equating we will get the same relation, correct. Let us go for the next question. Okay, Let us go for the next question. If scalar triple product a cross b, b cross c, c cross a is equal to lambda times scalar triple product a b c whole square then lambda is equal to. This is one standard result there is nothing to do in it since we know that scalar triple product a cross b, b cross c, c cross a is equal to scalar triple product a b c whole square. So, we can clearly see lambda is simply 1. We obtain this result applying expansion using scalar triple product this is one standard result. So, the answer is simply third. Correct. Let us move to the next one that is question number 15. Okay, let us go for question number 15. Let A and B be two events such that probability of complement of A union B equals 1 by 6, 
probability of A intersection B equals 1 by 4 and probability of complement of A equals 1 by 4, where A bar stands for the complement of the event A. Then the events A and B are, we have to conclude from the given four options, which are about equally likely but not independent, independent but not equally likely, independent and equally likely, mutually exclusive and independent. Correct. So, let us start using the given data that is probability of A union B bar equals 1 by 6 means probability of A union B that is 1 minus 1 by 6. So, it is 5 by 6 correct probability of A intersection B is 1 by 4 and the probability of A complement is 1 by 4. Since probability of A bar is 1 by 4, so probability of A is 3 by 4. Let us find out the probability of B now. Probability of A union B that is 5 by 6, probability of A that is 3 by 4, probability of B we have to obtain minus probability of A intersection B that is 1 by 4. Therefore, probability of B we can obtain as 5 by 6 minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 1 by 3. So, we get probability of B as 1 by 3, probability of A as 3 by 4. Therefore, probability of A into probability of B is 3 by 4 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 4 which is same as probability of A intersection B. So, clearly we can see the events are independent. Now, looking at the options equally likely but not independent this is false independent this is correct but not equally likely two events are called equally likely when the probabilities of occurrence of each are equal as in this case probability of a is 3 by 4 and that of b is 1 by 3 so clearly the events are not equally likely so this is correct one similarly we can check out the other two are wrong so the correct option is option 2. Fine. So, let us go for the next question.